Why would I supposed to continue along that particular track, along that particular path? Why? Why do our kith and kindred all across this planet think that they had to do all their transactions through the colonizers and hostiles and their melanated puppets? For what? Why do they think that the only way to acquire quote unquote trinkets and toys is to acquire it through the colonizers and hostiles and their melanated puppets? As if our folks don't have the talent and skill to do it independent of them. Makes no sense. Again, we have all other natural resources to make all the electrical power that we need to. We have a youthful population, an increasingly better learned population. Access to information is vast in this modern era. This is why I say there's mental sloth, because there's no other reason that I can think of as to why our folks act like this, why they behave this way. They cede all of their power to the colonizing hostiles and their melanated puppets. All these talents and skills, all these experiences from social activities, from serving in various militaries across the planet, all those talents and skills accrued they don't leave the brain just because you stop participating in their military services or in their societal engagements. All that knowledge and wisdom comes with you, which means you can use it within the Mexican Empire constitutional monarchy, within the jurisdiction and venue that we have made available for our folks across this planet. I don't get why folks voluntarily hand over their privacy, their liberty, their freedom, and their rights. You don't have to do that. And we train folks and prepare them. So there's no cause for that, no reason for that, except for mental sloth and being afraid of the colonizers and hostiles and the millionaire puppets. And they don't have to be. They have no more power than what you give them. They don't care what they think they have, what they think they can plan, or what they think they can do. It's the same 24 standard earth hours that they have that we have. Period. Full stop. You're no smarter, better, or wiser. If they can do it, we can too. The only difference is they do things that's unconscionable, and here we don't allow that nonsense. Act right, you have to have here. So parties talking all this crazy about quote-unquote bricks in the so-called African Union, two peas in the pod, a pod that's controlled by the colonizers and hostiles, makes less than zero sense to me. And our folks, until they wake up, will continue along that path of Willful destruction, self-destruction, and it need not be. And I'm the one to call them out because we have been here for 25 Earth years, saving lives and improving the quality of lives on both sides of the ocean. Folks got plenty to say, but they don't at least match the work that we do. And when we get into a discussion, folks get quiet or they run the other way. As I always say, when it comes to us, folks are going to run either towards us or away from us. However, they're going to run. If they can run and hide all they want, the truth stands no matter where we are. Period. Full stop. The colonizers and hostiles have no more power than what our kith and kindred voluntarily give to them. Give them back their CFA. Give them back their quote-unquote digital currencies. Give them back their SWIFT. Give them back their, their, uh, their games they play at a Londinium. Give them back their games they play out of Brussels. Give them back their games they play out of Londinian. Give the debt trappers back their nonsense. Now, I understand that there's a long-term relationship between the debt trappers in the Far East and Tanga Yika. When no one else would help them, they did out of um, the Far East. With the rail, I get it. And with the port scenario, I get that too. But the debt trappers are now nothing more than neo-colonizers. What they do? is not cool, not acceptable. And you've had several coups across the mother continent where parties came in and canceled the contracts that were made with the debt trappers. That makes them just as bad as the colonizing hostiles. They're just neo-colonizers. So they get no love either. And our kids and kindred need to stop begging the debt trappers from the Far East. They need to stop begging Paris and Londinium and Brussels. 
And the arms dealers out of Moscow that basically armed the despots all across the mother continent that keep them in power and, and keep our folks down. That has to stop too. They kill our kith and kindreds in the so-called streets over here in North America. Our kith and kindred here insist on participating and funding that nonsense. And they don't have to. What they allow shall continue. The so-called leaders on the other side of the ocean and the alleged leaders on this side of the ocean that's melanated, they're not serious. Their actions are crystal clear in this. They cannot and do not show you a competent budget on either side of the ocean. They don't show you any plans and any backup plans that are unencumbered. And they don't show you any operations that they can put in place and maintain in an enduring manner where they did not borrow and where they do not borrow. So they are beholden to those that they borrow from. They pay the price. And our Kith and Kendrick, who don't know no better, speak ignorance, supporting that madness. And they surrender their babies to them too for trinkets and toys. Access to trinkets and toys. Again, we have all of the resources, access to information. We have the industrial abilities independent of the continental houses on both sides of the ocean. Now, our Kith and Kindred can't seem to let the colonizers and hostiles, the oil barons, and the vaccine baron go. Until they do, they shall continue to suffer. And for those that's looking for what we do, we're not that hard to find. When they're ready, they'll find us. And when they're ready, we'll prepare them, we'll train them, we'll deploy them in our departments and sub-departments. They'll establish business out of our jurisdiction and venue. And they'll thrive without the colonizers and hostiles and the games and social engineering that they play upon them. 